Hey, I'm playing Perhaps Love by John Denver, straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Channel. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play along with me from pretty much anywhere. After the song, we'll do a basic tutorial together with this slow motion close-up play along you might find helpful. Now here goes. Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort, it is there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, when you are most alone, the memory of love will bring you home. Perhaps love is like a window, perhaps an open door. It invites you to come closer It wants you to show, show, to show you more And even if you lose yourself And don't know what to do The memory of love will see you through Love to some is like a cloud To some is strong as steel For some a way of living For some a way to feel some say love is holding on, some say letting go Some say love is everything, and some say they don't know Perhaps love is like the ocean, full of conflict, full of change Like a fire when it's cold outside, or thunder when it rains If I should live forever, and all my dreams come true my memories of love will be of you. And some say love is holding on, some say letting go. Some say love is everything, and some say they don't know. Perhaps love is like the ocean, full of conflict, full of change. Like a fire when it's cold outside, or thunder when it rains. If I should live forever, and all my dreams come true, my memories of love will be of you. Perhaps love is why you chose to play ukulele, the instrument of love. What a lovely song. All right. Um, the, I'm going to start with the arpeggio that I used throughout. Then I'll go to the tab and the ending. And those are really the only things to talk about. I mean, I'll talk about the uh, chord transitions a little bit, but they aren't hard. Um, by the way, also, I use alternate vo versions of chords in a few different places, right? I'm going... If you, when you say, like I show, I do three different versions of a D. If you want to just play a D, you can just play a D. The other versions that I play, I think, aren't harder. And they give a little more finesse. They have uh, uh, a little more variety in, in what you're playing. But if you just want to play a D, every, every time in my chord charts, uh, you see a tiny subscripted uh, little digit, you know, two, three, four. That's what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the idea. They're all D's. You can just play D if you want. Won't be wrong. It'll be right. You can do that. All right, what did I do? I did an arpeggio. If you, if that freaks you out, you can just do a simple strum. What I said is down, down, up, like this. Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm, right? That works. And it's lovely, right? You can do that if you want. I would emphasize the first down, right? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. In fact, what I'm doing now, I'm with the, the initial down, I'm going down with all four fingers and I'm doing it sort of sideways so it takes a little longer, like this. Instead of just, it's, right? It takes a little longer, you can hear all four fingernails actually going across there. I'm doing that with the first strum. And the others, I'm, I'm making a little shorter just by passing down at the same time.
Okay. It's a way of giving more emphasis to the first down strum without actually making it louder. Um, so you can do that, or you can do the arpeggio I did. Here's what I did. Arpeggio is a, uh, it's a pattern that you do with your right hand while your left hand is changing chords, right? You stay with the same pattern. That's what an arpeggio is. It's the pattern. It's the picking pattern that you do. Um, what I did is this. Now, yes, I have a low G. If you have a high G, it'll still be nice. It'll be, it'll sound different, but it'll be very nice. Um, right, that's the pattern. You can see my right hand isn't changing. My left hand is changing the chords, and my right hand just stays with the pattern. Um, so what do I do? How I do ar arpeggios? Almost all the time, I only have four strings. I don't need my pinky. I use my four strong fingers. I put one on each on a string, and those are the assignments. These fingers are assigned a string. That's it. And they stay there. Not always, but almost always. Yeah, it works. Um, also, in arpeggio, you count string, or in ukulele, you count strings from the floor up. So this is one, two, three, four. I know that sounds a little weird. It seems like it should go from the top down, right? But mm, tradition, instruments, lots of instruments for hundreds of years, I think. Um, that's how other people uh, created that, you know, convention of counting. So that makes this... The fourth string, the one closest to your chin is the fourth string. Okay, so what am I doing? Four, three, and then I'm plucking with these two fingers. They're sitting there on those strings, right? On their strings. Pluck them together. And then go back to the third. So my index finger gets double duty. Four, three, one, two, three. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Almost never do I depart from that. Ex well, okay, in the bridge, I depart from that. But all of the verses, that's what I'm doing. That's it. That's it. Um, now, what am I doing in the bridge? In the bridge, I'm doing what I call a strum arpeggio because I strum down. That's how I did it. Okay, so down, a strum, down, right? Not a strum, but a, a gentle gliding strum. I'm just using my index finger. Strum, four, all three plucked. And four. That's it. One, two, three, four. And then the strum comes every time I change a chord. So... Right? And then at the end, they come more rapidly. So... That's it. That's it. Now, for the rest, uh, I'll do the, the initial tab and the step down at the end last. I'm going to talk about the chord transitions now. So, I don't know if I did this consistently or not, because it, it wasn't that difficult for me, and there's two or three different ways you could do it, but I think the easiest way to do it is from... Now, here I'm going to just do strum like this, right? Perhaps love is like a resting place. If you drop your pinky, you, you hardly have to move, right? You drop one finger. Resting place, a shelter. Now here, what I'm doing, I'm, I, I'm moving everything, but I'm basically moving my index finger over one and sliding it up. Shelter from the storm. So this is a B flat shape, right? But move it up two frets and that's a C. Now you could do, love is like a resting place, shelter from the storm. But I want to be able to, I want to be able to step up. I want to hear, I want to hear it stepping up like that. So that's why I did the alternate versions of, of the C and the D, stepping up. So perhaps love is like a resting place. Now, like I said, I'm going to flatten out the index finger, drop those in, shelter from the storm. Now all that has to do is slide up two frets. One more time, it exists to give you comfort. It is there to keep you warm. And now I'm gonna form the E minor differently. Right? Before, I dropped it this way, but now I'm not going from a G. So from here, I'm gonna slide down to this version of the same chord. In those times of trouble. Now, I'm just gonna roll my middle finger back onto an open C. 
when you are most alone. See now, here's now my my fingers are kind of in place. So here's my middle finger. Now I'm going to drop my index finger and my pinky, and have a second position D. Second position as in one, two, three, four. Right. So when you are most alone, the memory of love. So these are hovering there. They yes, they all have to pick up. But the nice thing is. When I, when I go from the C to the D, my fingers are all like right there. They're like waiting just to drop, right? That's all the movement I need to move back and forth from this C to this D. I'm actually hardly moving anything. I'm moving everything, but barely. The memory of love will bring you home. All right, now you're gonna have to move them all. But from, I'm from this D, my index finger is only moving over one string, and then the, the other two drop for the G. And then think of your ring finger as the anchor, because everything else picks up. It stays connected to the ukulele drop down just one fret, and you got your D there. So, memory of love will bring you home. Uh, and actually, after the second verse, it just stays on the G. Okay, now we go into the bridge, right? That... You notice I'm doing a different version of the E minor here, too. Three different versions. Okay, so... Love to, some, love to some is like a cloud. Here we go. So, I am going from the G. Now I'm going to drop my, my index finger flat across and drop my ring finger on it to form that B minor, right? Love to some is like a cloud. And because I am already have that there, I drop two more fingers for the E minor. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick everything up and go over there. I just leave it there. Drop those two, and there's my E minor, right? And now it's a. It's a pretty quick. It's a pretty quick toward transition, right? Fortunately, C, G, and G are pretty common, so hopefully your fingers are comfortable with those. But it it, it does have to be a pretty a pretty quick transition because you're going from a B minor to E minor. And I'm going to drop my middle finger on the C, because that's almost right there, right? I've got it there. I just flatten out my middle finger, and I have a C. But now I have to, I have to move them all over to get to the D. Sorry. Oh, well. But at least there, from the D to the G, your ring finger stays stuck to the ukulele and just slides up a fret, right? So, again... Do that three times, and then the last line on the bridge. Some say love is everything. And now I'm going to slide up. So I'm stuck on my E minor there, and my ring finger is going to stay. I say it's going to stay. My ring finger is kind of the anchor point. It's going to slide up one fret, and that's the only thing it's going to do. So everything else moves around it. Some say they don't know. Okay, I think I've talked enough. Oh, two more things. So the intro and the outro. The intro, you can just do a G and a D if you want. Um, it goes like this. Sorry. That's what John Denver does. But the truth is, if you want, you can just do... Like that, you could just do... Perhaps love. You could do that. But how did I do it? All right, I have the tab written out there. I, I form my fingers like a G, except it's easier actually if you leave your middle finger up, because otherwise you're just gonna have to pick it up and you're not gonna pluck it. But like the arpeggio, one finger on each string, This it works for this one. First, I'm, I'm doing the fourth and second, right? I have a, almost a G shape, except my middle finger is up, and so I'm plucking, pluck, pluck, but now, I'm going to hammer on. I don't hit it twice. I pick up my finger. That's how I'm doing it. And I'm going to do it again. Right? You have to hit it kind of hard. But you can hear it that way. Sorry. Anyway, that's the intro. The outro is a little, is a little trickier. See if I can explain it. 
my memories of love will be of you. Sorry. I did it wrong. Here we go. What I wanted to hear was this. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so here's how I do it. I got a G there, right? I'm gonna pick up my middle finger and pluck three. Now I'm not changing the G, other than picking up the middle finger, I'm not changing the G, but first it's the whole G and then I'm just playing the last three, or the, the three closest to the floor, and then the top three. So you hear it change from, right? It sounds like I'm going, but that's because I'm playing the bottom three, and then the top three. And then I just slide my finger in, up or down, one fret, I'm still playing the three, right? All three, pick up everything, and then drop my D, or part of it anyway. I'm only playing two strings now, and then a G. So. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna play in slow motion the intro, just one verse, the bridge, and then I'll play uh, the the third verse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the second verse, and I'm gonna skip the the half instrumental bridge, um, or the the half in, yeah the half instrumental bridge. I'm gonna skip that. Actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna go straight from the bridge to the. I'm being very confusing now. Sorry. Yes. In order to do it in the right sequence, I'll do intro first one bridge, uh, and then I'm going to go straight from verse 3 to the outro. Uh, in slow motion, close up on my left hand, here goes. One, two, three, and... Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort It is there to keep you warm And in those times of trouble When you are most alone The memory of love will bring you home Oh, sorry. Stay on that G and then the bridge. Here we go now. Love, love to some is like a cloud, to some as strong as steel. For some a way of living, for some a way to feel. Some say love is holding on, some say letting go. Some say love is everything, some say they don't. Perhaps love is like the ocean, full of conflict, full of change. Like a fire when it's cold outside, or thunder when it rains. If I should live forever, and all my dreams come true, my memories, this is the outro final, of love will be of you. Hopefully you'll learn it better than I just played it. See you Wednesday. Bye.